Good morning guys. You guys remember when I was talking about uh, making soil blocks and plant seedlings in those? This is what I used. This little soil block machine. I got it off Amazon. And this is what they look like after they're ready for transplant. Look at the seeds. And soil does not have to be um, disturbed when you transplant them. So I just pop them in, either in the garden directly or right in there. Put a little dirt in there. And then they can grow without disturbance. The leaves are not affected, they're not wilting. And this is what they look like. Not every one comes up like that one didn't, but most of them come up. I would say 90% of the plants come up with the soil blocks. So, and this is the seeds coming out. This is what they do with the soil blocks. Amazing. This is what I'm going to be making today. I got to replant some more of my sugar baby watermelon and some more sunflowers because they keep getting eaten off. So there we go. Hope you have a good day. I thought I would show you guys how I make the soil blocks. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But you kind of walk the machine and keep pushing it down. And if you lift it up slightly and it comes out, then it's not ready. And then you push down. And there they are. One didn't come out right. That's how you make salt blocks. Of course, you don't leave them in this. You gotta put them in your grow tray. For the grow tray, I usually use something like this. I can get two rows in here. This is when they're done, the soil blocks. And I put the seed right in that little indentation. And I just take a little bit of soil and cover it up. And I water it every so often. You don't want to water too much because they'll fall apart. And you only water it by putting the, the water right in these channels, not on top. And when they're done, they turn into plants like this.